Hello everyone. Welcome to Civil Engineering Skills. Today we will discuss about the dynamic column block. As you can see, I have created one column which is having certain length and width and also it has 10 numbers of bar. Now let's see how we can modify these properties. First, select the dynamic block, right click, go to the properties. Here you can see I have provided some variables like length, width, cover and number of bars. So let's change the length of this column. Let's say uh, I want a 450 by 230. So according to our inputted length, the column will vary its size and shape. Now let's see how you can vary number of bars. So for this example, I have provided four different combination. First, 10 numbers of bar having a 16 mm diameter. So that has been already selected. Now let's select 8 and 16. So 8 number of bar having a 16 mm diameter. Next 4 number of bar having a 12 mm diameter and 4 number of bars having a 16 mm diameter. So you can see the color code is also provided for 12 mm and 16 mm differently. So in this manner a number of combination you can generate for the dynamic block. Here you can see the blue line indicates stir up of our column. If you want to provide a secondary stir up, so for that I have also created one dynamic stir up for that purpose. So with the help of this, you can place extra number of stir ups as much as you want. You can adjust the size and shape of the stir up also. Okay, let's see another scenario which is having a 10 numbers of bar. So for this one, I also need one link between these two TMT bar. So for that we have a link. So just place the link and increase its size. Okay. In this way you can generate a realistic column drawing within few minutes. If you need this type of dynamic column you can directly contact me and further in upcoming videos we will discuss about the dynamic beam also. Thanks for watching.